Hey guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Uh, let's uh, jump right back in. We were just on the threshold of uh, getting into the, the capital proper um, when we ended the episode um, last time. And uh, yeah, this is where we are. There is, it looks like a lift going on here or just a passageway yeah let's just uh, let's just take another look man it's just this area is just phenomenal look at the moon rising over the cliff there dude so cool there's the minor earth tree This looks like something down here as well. Could possibly access it somewhere. Not from here though. Okay, these these messages are, are making me nervous. Like, is this an ambush? Negative. That way's blocked. Let's get our lantern going here. Ah, here's the lift. Yeah, I thought I thought we might be going up. These walls are super high. So uh, I've been in the market for a new toilet brush lately. <laughs> well, that's a weird way to start a stream. Um, but uh, yeah, um, my uh, my old toilet brush, and I don't know, I don't know who designs these things but this is designed by a sadist whoever designed this toilet brush it's got a, a screw off head like who who does this you know what i mean like you're using a toilet brush right after enough uses it's gonna come off and uh you're gonna have to stick your hand into an area you don't really want to um yeah, terrible terrible design so I had to go and get myself a new toilet brush and uh, it's, it's not something I've ever thought much about like you know usually you just go into a place and get a toilet brush but I went to like there's a furniture store nearby um, it's kind of a big chain called uh, Mr. Price Mr. Price Furniture and uh, I was having a look around and uh, yeah they got all kinds man you got like fancy ones you got like uh, ceramic ones, you got plastic ones. Is this kind of life? You got all kinds, dude. People are spending time thinking about toilet brushes. Like, people are out there designing them. I mean, like, imagine that's your job, you know? Are you excited about it? Hello? These guys aren't going to get up, are they? Be wary of good sort. You know what I mean? Are people out there like actively looking for jobs to design toilet brushes? Or is it a case of like, I work for a company and they, they give me jobs and today I'm going to be designing a toilet brush. These are the thoughts that keep me up at night. Oh, look at this, man. Look at this. Let's, uh, let's shelve that toilet brush conversation for now and just, like, take this in. Whoa, dude, there's a doorway into the earth tree. Holy crap, dude. These guys are just, like, dejectedly sitting around. How can you be so disheartened with this view, man? Holy crap. Is that like a um, a cleft section or a shadow? I can't make it out. Can't tell. Uh, what's down here? Looks 
like there's a floor down there. That's maybe the sewage section that we've been hearing about. The home of the... The, uh... The mad... The madman's god. Uh... Forget their name. Frenzied. That's it. Home of the Frenzied. Lindell, Royal Capital. Dude. Look at this. So what is that staff? Thought for a second that staff was like what killed the dragon. Look at this place, man. The birds flying past, dude. It's giving me like chills, man. I don't think you can fully appreciate it on uh, on YouTube's like 1080p like uh, compression. But this is this is quite a sight, man. With the earth tree in the background, holy crap, man! These guys are sort of obsessed with looking at the earth tree. Are they going to attack us? One of them's like spinning. I mean, they're most definitely going to attack us. I mean, what, what am I thinking? Look at this place, man. So this is the dragon that we saw um, when we opened the, the trapped chest in the Weeping Peninsula. And uh, it took us up onto the ramparts there. Or maybe it was across the way. Amazing. This is going to be locked, isn't it? Yeah, does not open. Um, are you going to attack us? What are you? Oh, I thought there were telescopes. It's like a, some kind of an instrument. It's taking a breath. Oh, dude, this, I thought it was just the music. They are actually making, like, you can hear, like, a high-pitched sound. Okay. Yeah. It was only a matter of time before they attacked us. I like how they gave us the first one to kind of look at. Look at this place, dude. I mean, this must have taken like a year alone to model and finish and put all the touches into. Oh my god, it's just insane. Yeah, I think we. I think we two hand this. Yeah, we're one-shotting them with two hands. Going to be two-handed. This looks like a oh, dropping frames. It's like a boss-ish. Not quite. He's just a chonky one. He's just a old chonker. And it keeps going, man. Just keeps going. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, okay, it's one of these guys. We saw them in the deep red depths. Oh, quickly. Yeah, this is your... <laughs> your Achilles heel, we just have to get behind him. Getting a lot of golden ruins here. That's always nice. That's nice. Seems like we can head off in... Ooh, look at this. That probably comes... Like, if we go in there, it probably comes out down there. But we can take this little side... Passage. Hmm. 
Look at this place, man. Look at this room, dude. Gorgeous. All the botanicals hanging from the ceiling. This is going to be a gushing episode. Just prepare yourself. I'm just going to be gushing. You're going to have to excuse me. Uh. Okay, we're going to have to trash the place now. Nowhere to run. Level 4 smithing stone. Yeah, we are still quite leveled for this area. It's, uh, yeah, it's still not that, it's not that challenging. Whoa. Oh, it's like a homing, a homing bubble. I love these interiors, man, sort of all overgrown. Super cool. See, this is what I'm trying to turn my apartment into. Maybe not all the roots on the floor, but lots of greenery, lots of shrubbery. Cave moss. Well, that's handy. These uh, hanging things kind of look similar to the Perfumer bottles. Dude, this is just amazing, man. So gorgeous. Okay, we come full circle. Love these interiors, man. Feels like a, an alchemist's, like botanical study, you know. What's your guys deal, man? Why are you so dejected? You need more iron in your diet. They've got swords, so I'm expecting them to get up and stab us in the back. Any moment. Oh, yeah, look, his perfumers. Yeah, they're kind of everywhere. Like, maybe the perfumer wakes them up. Preserving bolluses, that's for Scarlet Rot. There's another one down there. Let's check upstairs first. Okay, those are just suits of armor. It's like, oh god. Banished knights. Oh, nice. Perfume bottle. Yeah, oh, this is perfumer territory. Oh, it's just a tree. It's like, that's a weird looking enemy. lost their roof. This guy got slapped around. He's like sitting there in a pool of his own blood. Seed bed curse. What? Uh, 
Uh, there it is. Curse grown on a corpse killed and defiled by the dung eater. He was from the, the intro. A tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The dung eater cultivates the seedbed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the Erd tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. A tender pox. Lots of words in here I don't understand or don't know what they mean. Like, what are omen horns? Now, the dung eater was the. Uh, is one of the shard bearers from the intro. And uh, that weird, like, pox ridden guy at the uh, round table hall. There's possibly some connection there. He's got, like, weird growths all over his face and what have you. Um. This place is proving difficult to navigate. Surprise! Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, I don't know if that guy got up because we bumped into him. Or if it was from... Oh, you sneaky son of a... He was hiding. Scumbag. Hiding in the corner. He knew we'd go straight for the loot. Upper class robe. Fancy. Oh, that's right. We've got the lightning. We can call lightning down from the heavens. That seems pretty OP. We'll have to test it out and see if it's stronger than uh, just throwing the, the straight lightning bolt. Okay, this looks like a... Oh, look at the gold tiled roofs, dude. This whole place is like... Covered in gold. What if the roof tiles are made of gold, man? It's not a bad choice. Gold doesn't tarnish. Ah, there's maybe some kind of a connection. Like gold doesn't uh, doesn't rust. That's why a lot of uh, satellites and what have you all use gold. Got a good shelf life. It's like the uh, the Voyager space probe had that uh, gold record disc with all the sounds of like human uh, sounds and sounds of Earth and uh, like children laughing and bird calls and songs and things of that nature. On a golden record, because it'll never, uh, yeah, it'll never rust. This guy's playing the flute, like, so beautifully. Seems a shame to stab him in the back. Gotta be done though, because you know he's gonna turn around and poke us. Gonna poke us with his poker. Level 6 smoothing stone, that's better. Ah, this is a dead end. Beautiful little gardens and things around here, man. Look at this though. Secrets. Oh, this place is going to be tricky to navigate. I'm already like feeling a little, feeling a little lost. There's like ups and downs and oh, this dog was like way bigger. Yeah, this dog's huge compared to the others. 
That's why it took two swipes to take out, I think. Take the old fang. Yeah, this place is, uh... It's like a rabbit warren, dude. Can't open that door. This looks like it's been sealed with, like, honey. But it's probably gold. My money's on it being sealed with gold. They seem to have a massive abundance of gold. In, uh... In this realm. That, uh... Would seriously decrease the value. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, uh... Guys, I'm lightning! 251, not great. Okay, that's holy damage, I think. Quickly. Oh, too slow. top of the head. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Oh god. Okay, we're doing good damage. Somehow. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh, there's too much going on, dude. We nearly had him, though. Okay, well, this gives us a bit of a chance to try uh, an alternate route, maybe. Oh, wow, look how far back we are. Okay, um... Let's see. There's our ruins, dude. <laughs> Jeez, that's far. Um... Yeah, I think we just do a mad dash, or not. Kill a few on the way. Can't hurt. Like how they do like a note off key, which is the attack. Three thousand ruins for killing that thing. Definitely worth it. These guys are called pages. Uh, wasn't there a lift here? Yeah. So where? There it is. Yeah, so we explored this whole upper area here. Nothing left to... Strip of white flesh for killing those things. Weird. And they can just shoot through stuff. That's not fair. Well, yeah, that's not fair.
There's the flute guy. I don't think we came this way last time. Maybe. We did not. Oh, this guy's beefy. Yeah, working up. There's a perfumer that's waking up these guys. We're gonna die. Heal. Yeah, I should probably two hand here. Whoa, dude. Heal. Very close to death. Oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's got some skill. It was only 40,000 ruins. Chump change. Chump change. Okay, this room. Dude, this room. Is freaking serious, man. This is a lethal combo. Where are our ruins? That's what I want to know. This way. Nice. Okay, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Finally, dude. Holy crap. That took way more tries than I'm willing to admit. And there's also like a big boy just outside here. Uh, yeah, can I get a scotch on the rocks, please? Time for merchant. Where is he? Yeah, here he is. Quickly. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this area just went up a notch. Like I wasn't really taking it very seriously until now. Okay, it's uh, it's quite serious, in fact. Um, and it really is like a rabbit warren, dude. I, like. I'm already a little bit lost. I have no idea how to get back to um, how to get back to that main uh, causeway where the uh, where we met the the tree avatar. Maybe this way. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, I quickly want to double back. I th I thought I saw an area that looks kind of secrety. Access to the rooftops. Oh, okay, so that leads out to the guy with the flute. That's the way we went last time. Got you. Nice, dude. Look at us go. Um, I'll say we just start tearing up some of these tiles, man. Make some good money. Um... I know it is valuable in this game. We sold a golden sword for a crap load of, of ruins. Um, so what is going on here? Why are we up here? What what do we have access to here that we don't normally to do? Um, that's where we went last time. 
So we took this little side route. We went down that away. Yeah, so we don't want to do that again. Jump down here. That's where the dogs were. So this is what we haven't been able to access this area here. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. That's what you get for sleeping on the job. Lord Sword, Straight Sword, that was our sword for ages. Eh. Another half destroyed gargoyle. Strategically tried to put his back to a wall, but you're just too slow, mate. They're just too slow. We get a nice amount of runes from killing these gargoyle things as well. 3,300 or something. Um. Just trying to see if we could have jumped down here from somewhere. Maybe. see you sitting in the shade whoa oh he got uh, protected a little shield yeah that's not gonna save you then a tiny little shield Look at the size of my sword! It's huge! Lord something? This place is incredible, dude! It's just such a rabbit warren. You can go anywhere. Ah, okay, so this is where we were. So this is where the the uh, tree avatar just like pops out. What is going on with this huge staff? It looks like a, a giant wizard staff or something. Or nothing. Love these flowers. Looks like they're made of gold. A gold leaf. This uh, guy playing flute in the background is giving me serious Sekiro vibes. Um, I don't know if you played Sekiro, but uh, there was one stage where there are these like old decrepit enemies, and the first time I saw them, I was like, I just completely massacred them. I was like. Whoa. What's the point of these guys? They're so pathetic. Um, but like, if you let them get too close, they would start like sucking your life source. <laughs> and they were actually super dangerous because they would lower your, your maximum HP. Similar to the, the wardens um, in the dungeons um, in Dark Souls 3. They would, like suck your life force, dude. I don't want anyone to suck my life force. Oh god. We've made a huge mistake. We've made a huge mistake. These guys are lightning boys. Let's run away. Let's maybe get some lightning of our own going. Let's maybe cast some lightning. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, you're toast, bud. Okay, he's actually a bit of a grunt. 
just got a big sword. We're out. Oh, he's doing the same thing to me. Let's just get rid of this guy. Hundred and eighty-eight. Okay, these guys. Oh shit! Look at my health. Oh, that was crucial. Oh. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be tough to get back here. Um. Okay, so I tried to make a jump and I missed so now we're here we have to fight this uh, this tree Whoa. okay I think we're gonna lose our 50,000 roads here unfortunate Okay, positive attitude. Whoa. somehow somehow dude <laughs> look at the Irish oh god nice just in time okay we made it we survived we got a lord's ruin holy crap that is gonna be worth a lot Okay, um... We've got a gold firefly, those are quite rare. Oh, dude. Useless platforming. Um, yeah, okay, so this is the side alley. This is where our ruins are still sitting. Let's just take a look over here, quick. Famous last words. Oh, we can't get in there. We press on. We just avoid those guys. We don't have to fight them. These guys. The Dell Soldier Greaves. What's the difference, I wonder? Lots of golden ruins in this area, man. Littered all over the place. I suppose this is kind of the city of gold in a way. That was kind of scary. He's seen us. He's coming to investigate. Okay, just stand there and take it then. Let's grab our runes. Whoa. Whoa. No. <laughs> Almost three in a row. Unfair. Sorry for you. 69,000 runes. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh. 
Oh, I completely messed that up. Oh god. Oh, dude, what? These guys have, like, perfume abilities. back we have a massive arrow through our throat and shoulders but uh, we seem to be all right just a scratch oh, I've had worse okay we mustn't forget about our runes which I think are just around the corner here seen us. I don't know if I have these guys' greatsword. It looks pretty awesome. Gravel stone. We're going to be facing a dragon, aren't we? guy completely oblivious pay more attention to your surroundings bud gilded foot soldier cap I'll take it yeah okay, I'm hearing more bubble boys that's what I would call them because they're kind of bubble shaped and of course their primary attack is the sacred bubble bubble magic little known discipline of bubble magic known only to a select few of Lindell capital guards and five-year-old uh, party clowns um, how do we get there, dude? That's what I want to know. Do we drop down from the top? Because I, I spy some goodies. Uh, we can also get down onto this roof here. It's coming from over here, maybe? Oh, come on. These guys are the worst. Okay, let's run away. This perfumer is going to put a shield on him and then we're in serious trouble. Ouch. Super ouch. We can stun him, which is good. Okay, he's fallen down to the bottom. That's fine. You stay there for now. And you, take one to the groin. That's what you get. That's what you get for perfuming all over the place. Oh, dude, this place is is a maze. Hero's Ruin level 2, dude. Okay, well, it's a, well, there's trees down there, because of course they are. Sewer trees. I'm kind of happy when I see a dead end, so I'm like, oh, okay. It narrows my choices. It's my OCD, I want to, like, I want to explore every single cranny. 
and uh, I'm having trouble kind of keeping track of where we've been, where we haven't been. Pretty sure this is where the lion fell down to. We don't want this guy blowing his horn, so take it in the back. So yeah, I think we, uh, I think we jumped down from the top here. Yeah, there he is. in the back you son of a bitch we're back okay so I'm not gonna aggro the lion just yet so I want to grab these ruins you could take it in the Oh god, sometimes that happens, like I'll drop and I'll press the, the heavy attack and just nothing will happen. And I think I see the, the well, I think it's behind us. Oh no, okay. <laughs> No, it's not the well. I thought this was like a, a drop. But it ain't. Oh, it is actually. Yeah, this is the well. Just not what I was thinking. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's double back. Take out the lion. 94,000 runes. That's like a cursed number of runes for me. Can't tell you how many times I've lost... Exactly 94,000 runes. Sneaky. Okay, where's the perfumer, man? There he is. Oh. Okay, run away. Run away. Yeah, come this way. <laughs> it's such an awkward place for this lion to fight. It keeps dropping down. Surprise! Oh god. We are out of stamina now. Heal, heal, heal. It's so fast. Oh god. Nice. All the things, very cool, very hot, very tight. Um, nice, dude. So that's that whole section done. We still got problems though. Um, but before we face those problems, let's uh, let's head in the opposite direction here. There's also this area, and there's the well. So. Hmm. Oh, it's just a lantern. The 
let's go uh, let's go see what there's oh gosh it goes all the way in this direction as well dude <laughs> oh my god okay not that I mind I mean this is such an incredible area oops uh, looks like we can get up there can we open these doors Yes, we can. So maybe this is like the, the frontal assault. Um, hmm, I'm really not sure, man. Is this a shortcut or a whole new area? Like... Stop chopping at the ground. Um, hmm. Where is this taking us, man? What are we doing here? Why are we? Why are we doing here? Only one way to find out. Hello, Dag. It's still alive. Oh, we're one handing. I wonder. Lots of Dags around. Yeah, get the dog first. Oh god, oh god, he's got red eyes, we're trapped. <laughs> Heal. Okay, once we stun lock him, it's not too bad. Yeah, he's he's gone. He's done. Whoa! Clenching hard for a second. Perfume bottle. Good sort. Good sort. Behold dog. Well, okay then. If and you say so. Yeah, so uh, what I was going to say is I think Lord Michaela is the um, the one that the frenzied kind of worship. I think that's his name. And uh, the Michaela's lilies are actually quite rare. Yeah, I don't know wh why we're going in this direction, but we're getting loot, so... That's always good. What are you? Oh, he's just hiding in a bush. Okay. There's another one. Any more? Nope. That's it. This guy was praying. Who are you? Item ahead. Uh, 
I mean, I was going to check there anyway. Praise the hope. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, eh? Just enough stamina. Very nice. Okay, this perfumer has to go. Oh! <laughs> he rolled into it. Ouch. Dude, what? Okay, run away. Heal. This guy's got to go. Okay, well that worked out somehow. I very seldom use consumables, man. Very, very seldom. I suppose these guys aren't hurting anyone, but... They're not hurting anyone yet. You know they're gonna, like... Turn on you the minute you, you let your guard down. Okay, I think we're coming to the end of this area. Whatever it is. Okay, was this just not like another entry point maybe? The flock of birds flying past, dude, it's so gorgeous. Is this whole thing a lift? Yes, it is. Lots of creepy statues. Um, okay. So it looks like this is going to open up this sort of passageway into the next area. Um, well, I messed that up a bit. Um, Flame Drake Talisman plus one. There is no stake of America here, dude. Um, so if we mess this up, we're gonna have to go all the way back again. We've got three health flasks left. Is there really no stake of America? No like side of grace or nothing? Hectic, dude. Okay. Well, guys, I think that is a very good place to end the episode on that note. Um, geez, that causeway leading up to the Ur tree looks quite like gothic and dark, dude. 
and it is like a it's like a cleft in the in the side of the tree and is it me or did it like suddenly get like very cloudy or does that always happen when it rains maybe i just never noticed anyways guys as always don't forget to stay awesome and i will see you very soon till then take care bye bye